Welcome. Weekly DTM review with Justin and Corey. We've got a bit of a different one today. We're going to go through the long-term report as well with Marius Landman. Uh, really the foundation for my crypto journey over the last four or five years. Um, uncanny, it can take a little bit longer to play out the algorithm, but uh, man, is it accurate. It never very rarely disappoints. I think we're at about 97% accuracy going back five years. So Justin, if you want the honors of... Uh... Of course. So I brought up this report here from October 2nd and 3rd, just to kind of display what we've been tracking through the long-term reports with Marius. So still in a buyer's market, um, slow moving markets as Bitcoin attempts to break some of these resistance levels that we've dropped below. But expecting sudden spikes in well in Bitcoin, but as well as the altcoins. So again, all when Bitcoin moves, altcoins see tremendous moves. Generally, is is how this works. Um, it just comes down to market caps. And then I'd like to show off this little chart here. So this is based on some of the algorithm data. Um, so really watching the gold oscillator, and then overlaying with Apple and Microsoft and and some of these other major stocks from the dot-com crash. And this is what we're kind of experiencing, something very similar. So we had this long downtrend. We came up, we started playing and tickling with these gold oscillators. Then we got into a channel and then we broke and off to the races we went, as well as this descending channel right here. And that was mimicked with Microsoft. And we're seeing that starting to play out here with Bitcoin. Now, this, this chart is from the beginning of the month, so we don't have this break, but we have broke this channel, came back in and starting to do some retest. But everything's kind of laying up the exact same way. Anything on here you want to touch on before you start diving uh, in? No, I just need a screen share. There you go. Beauty. So... Uh, I'll dive into the Bitcoin chart in a bit, but just before we get into that, some of the results for this week with DTM. So we were talking about altcoins. That report was from three and a half weeks ago, right? So has been slow moving, but we've been seeing really good performances in these altcoins. So TP2 for Ray, 6.8%. This one is a little bit larger cap. Uh, you can put $200,000 on it and make your percentage and get out with that one. So we do have a good mix here as well, uh, TP2, TP3 for UTK, so up to 17% in nine days, 20 hours, and uh, TP1 for Darrow, so another 4%. And that was this is just going back since the 25th, so we're talking today is the 27th. Uh, TP1, TP2 for DYDX, 8.6%, uh, and then TP3 for Ray, so almost 10% in 10 days, 20 hours, again, you know, using larger amounts of funds, or even just, you know, any amount of funds, 10% in a month is huge, right? So seeing some really good uh, movement, and then DYDX has been crushing it. So 18%. There's also Sushi that uh, was posted out, it did 18, 17.65% as well. So even just the last week, uh, cumulative profits were somewhere around 60% or so, right? So this is getting to be pretty exciting. And then uh, with BTC, just exactly what Justin was just saying. So we finally had this little breakout. So this downward trending resistance line has been plaguing us since I think that was back in April. Uh, yeah, April 4th, we've been just trying to break through that line. So it is uh, earlier on, good time to be watching this video, this update, but uh, making a higher high over all these candles and we wanna see a nice poke up. Uh, I'd like to see it at least tickle that 23,500 mark um, before a retracement, but could be in for a pretty exciting week. So um, this makes a huge difference, just having the confidence in the markets. You know, when Marius is calling for a spike, the algorithm is showing that we're coming in for a spike. It's a whole lot easier to sit through, be patient when the entire market, everyone on social media is crying for 12K, right? So, or 10K or whatever. Um, that's where it's really been the difference for me on the journey, the foundation, right? I can use the reports as an indicator. I do 
for my day trade setups, right? If we're expecting a pullback or some not so good markets, I'm a bit more conservative. But when we're calling for a spike, I'm more aggressive, taking those profits and, you know, taking those trades much more rapidly as uh, we've got time, right? So even if you just catch a few of those trades a month, I mean, that's enough to pay the bills and keep you going forward right so keep you from taking out of those investments when they're down is the biggest mm-hmm. thing so um really good week um lots more to come these are all those were all like tp1s tp2s so we're not even getting into the tp5s some of those uh tp5s around 55 percent so we've got some really big coins coming up there's been some nice spikes we're seeing random altcoins spiking 50 to 200 percent in one big wick <laughs> And then coming back down, so, you know, capture a few of these, you know, some of these coins are going to do thousands of percent in the next few months if this market moves the way we expect it to. So, yeah, now is definitely the time to be getting positioned, to be paying attention and uh, definitely take some trades on the side as well. Uh, very, very exciting to see these things start to pop off. You know, it's been a it's been a long wait. You know, we, we called the bottom. And we haven't gotten back to that bottom in Bitcoin. And it's been up and down, lots of volatility, lots of manipulation going on. But the nice thing is, as you mentioned, long term is that foundation. What I love about using long term and then transitioning over to day trades and trying to build a more consistent revenue stream is the education piece. There's so many people that have reached out to us, you know, saying I'm down 90 percent. As how how does that happen? Where's your stop loss? Where's that they're not taking the time to educate where DTM, that's that's our main focus is is education, risk management, and then profits. And you know, you start combining those two together, it's it's a powerful tool, very powerful. Absolutely. So we're seeing record profits in down markets, in bear markets. I mean, once the bull market starts, like really starts. This is going to get super crazy. So very excited. Uh, But that's about all I have for today. Um, Nothing too, too major. Lots more excitement. We do have our meetup tomorrow, our live training AMA or AUA. Uh, Ask us anything. So make sure to hop on there. You can get in on some of the education that we've been talking about, free trade setups if you're not already in the DTM channel um we do have a weekly trade setup that we release to the public to help people get you know used to putting stop losses in to getting in trades and you know showing that guiding light uh that profits are being made even in these tough markets so um definitely invite friends and family everyone's welcome and if you have any questions or topics that you want us to cover make sure to come get your answers right so uh, that'll be 8 a.m. CST in North American time. Uh, you'll have to check your local time zone, but uh, they've got it posted in UTC time as well to make it easy for those that are international. So uh, same time, same place next week. That's it for me. Any closing words, Justin? Not today. No, um, I think you wrapped it up really well. Looking forward to connecting and, and I mean, make sure you, you take advantage of some of this free content and, and these AUAs. Very important as we're progressing in our education, our crypto journey to just keep that in our field. You know, the more energy and attention and focus we put on it, the, the more our brain just starts clicking and those light bulbs go off and you'll be prepared for this next bull run. Absolutely. So. Uh, I guess one quick thing before we sign off, I'm just going to pull up. um, If you haven't already, make sure to set up your account, get a referral link from a friend. And uh, at the very least, come in here and come get the starter packet pack. So once you log in, you get this for free. You can see mine expires 27th, 2030. So we've got some time. Um, This is something that we put together to help people get started right in crypto. Uh, Lots of blogs, lots of good information um, here as well as in uh, the Elliott Wave theory category. Oh, that is the Elliott Wave. Uh, There's the public blog as well. Uh, More so the documents and the events is what I was looking for. So um, 
a few different things on here. Elliott Wave Theory Charts is definitely worth checking out. Uh, some of the public events is where I really wanted to point this out. So lots coming here. You can see the calendar uh, of Hoddle Knots. You know, we've got our AUA. We've got a Halloween party coming up. You know, uh, long-term reports with Marius, all sorts of good stuff. So you can see exactly what's happening when here and uh, check out the past events too, if you want. So come over to the video section as well. And there's going to be lots of free training, uh, how to use the long-term reports, you know, welcome to FIB circles, all sorts of different stuff, really good information. Come check it out and then uh, let us know if there's something that you're interested in. Uh, we've got a lot of introductory content. We're coming out with more and more. You know, we did focus a lot on the courses. You know, we've got our DeFi course, uh, as well as the UTC course, which is, you know, certified trainer, certified analyst, pardon me. Uh, how to replace your full-time income and become a full-time analyst if you want to be doing what Justin and I do and Nico, right? And Marius. Um, lots more to come. So this is just the beginning. You know, people always wonder if it's a little bit too late. Uh, funny enough, they're never around during the uh, down markets. So this is the time to be paying attention to be getting your positions in and really taking a stand, you know, for what you believe in and the life that you want to build. Now is the time. So hope to see you Friday. And uh, if not, we'll be back same time, same place next week. We'll see you then.